Hi LinkedIn, it's Ali G. Um, today I want to talk about what a SCADA engineer is. I don't think enough people know what it actually is. And it's a high demand job right now. And um, it's incredibly fun. And I think that's um, the misconception is that uh, that that skate engineers are just programmers. Not that there's anything wrong with being just a programmer, <laughs> but um, programmers don't quite turn wrenches um, like skate engineers do. That's literally like the the I think the biggest difference is you know a, a skate engineer is going to get stuck going out and looking at the equipment. Um, yes, we can do, you know, PLC programming, HMI programming, SCADA programming, move data around ba databases. Um, we can trace where your data went, um, and, and we know about the signals. But um, we also know how to take apart equipment. Um, and we know a lot about instrumentation. And we know, um, you know, how to design control panels. Um, and we can, you know, do you know, our own CAD designs and make, um, make, you know, control, um, electrical control panels for, uh, any, any manufacturing process. Um, I guess let's, I should take a step back and explain, like, our role inside of a factory, right? Because, you know, a factory is making something, um, and they're using, you know, these industrial computers to do it. And, you know, that's what these PLCs are and why you hear PLC anytime you hear SCADA. But um, SCADA actually stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. So the supervisory part is more about the actual screens. So there's, you know, oper operation screens. And you can either do control or just monitoring, but you can kind of see what's going on in your entire process through these SCADA screens. Um, or the supervisory part. Um, and then the data acquisition part is all about, you know, storing this data to look at it later um, because it's incredibly valuable to figure out process updates or, sorry, process upsets by going back and looking at your historian um, and assuming that you were actually historizing all the data that you should have been um, because that's a, its own trick. But um, what else do we do? Um, there is an element of, you know, field, field work um, where, you know, we are involved in startups. So when new equipment goes in, we are a huge part of that. Um, and when, you know, equipment gets upgraded, we're part of that. Um, and, you know, and we have to work with all the other groups within manufacturing. So we work directly with electricians, um, other types of engineers, process engineers, mechanical engineers, civil engineers, um, not so much on the civil because we're usually like inside the factory and the building's already built, but it happens. Um, that's, what, that's what SCADA engineering is. Um, it's amazing and, and it's hard. And it's satisfying because when you do figure it out, and you figure out enough things, you start gaining this confidence to just blindly just go out and see, and you don't get intimidated anymore, eventually. Um, in the beginning, you don't know what's going on, and you just have to just stay there, like, stay in it, stick with it, um, because it does feel overwhelming when you first start this type of work, um, because you don't know what you don't know, um, but it is... Uh, it's in high demand and if you want something that is going to be incredibly uh, fulfilling and pays well and is in high demand and is just plain fun um, then look into SCADA engineering